Hi, welcome to Cajun Toy Review. Today we're going to be looking at G.I. Joe Classified Series Duke. Uh, this figure came out earlier with the original wave for G.I. Joe, but this figure is a little bit different. This is actually the new repainted variant for Duke. Um, some of the first figures, Scarlet, Roadblock, and Duke, had some pretty crazy little colors that uh, didn't really fit like the military theme and stuff like that, were very kind of futuristic and some fans didn't like. Um, didn't really bother me, but uh, so this is a new one. And we're gonna have the old one. We're gonna compare. It. We're gonna compare both our Dukes today. Um, so really, kind of show you: is it worth an upgrade uh, to get this new Duke and stuff like that? Is it that much of a difference? Stuff? Eh, not really. But you know, it's gonna be fun. We'll compare it and see and stuff like that. But this is just a overall good figure. And for me, I'm I was never a Duke fan growing up and stuff. Uh, he was very vanilla <laughs> uh, and plain. Um, but I love this figure. I'll say that right now. So anyway. Uh, so let's look at them. So of course, I love the GI Joe classified boxes. They really look great on the shelf. They really, they really pop. Uh, I love how each one of them has individual artwork on it. So we got our Duke right here on the side, uh, and then we got a different art right here of Duke uh, giving it to Cobra Commander, and then a nice shot of Duke up top uh, with some really big explosion or I guess a meteor is is hitting Duke right there. So. Um, but always with all these figures, got a nice open shot of all the different accessories and stuff. And he has some a nice bit of accessories and stuff on it. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I've opened this figure before, mess with it, mess with it. But I'm excited just to talk about him again. So um, on this side of the box, we got these little file card icons stuff like that. You go to like the GI Joe website and you can look these up. Um, I'm not sure what all that means. I know uh, he's airborne. Uh, he's a first sergeant. Uh, I know he can speak multiple languages, uh, but I really couldn't tell you exactly on there. He is also number four in the series, even though this is a, a updated repaint, he's still considered number four. On the back we got that original uh, art that we've seen and loved uh, that showed the first pretty much set of figures, but we still haven't got these alley vipers yet, come on! Uh, and really no vehicles, so we got all kinds of stuff on there that we're waiting for. Uh, bridge layer, give me some of that, give me um, the, the shark. I love the shark when I was a kid anyway. Um, Smith's Tanks, Ra Night Ravens, Rattlers, uh, Trouble Bubbles, whatever they call those things. I think that's what they call them. You can see on there if you need or want. So, and then nothing on top. We got that G.I. Joe star and the number four again. So let's go ahead and save and let Conrad Hauser out of this box and check him out. All right, here we have our new repainted Duke out of the package. Before we get into it, I just want to say thank you for everyone who's uh, commented, liked, and subscribed to my videos. This was a, sm uh, a small little tr hobby thing that I started in uh, April of this year, uh, just to kind of do in my downtime, and uh, something I'm, I'm extremely passionate about. I love action figures, I love toys. Uh, it's something I, I grew up with. This is video games I could talk about all day. So. Um, just to see the comments and and the subscriptions and you know the uh, the likes and stuff like that, it means so much. So thank you sincerely from truly from, from the bottom of my heart, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed or anything like that, check out my content. Uh, there's a lot more coming. Uh, hopefully with this, the lighting is a lot better. I sped up my my plans on 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 getting lighting to kind of improve things uh, because I, I I'm really loving. Um, the feedback and everything stuff like that so I really seen that people appreciate it and stuff and I appreciate that so thank you so much um, so look at our Duke let's get into this um, man like we're gonna really ha I'm gonna really really bring these two out and show them but I, I, I had this figure already and I've had them since he came out and I'm just I'm kind of all excited again about it because I really think these little small changes stuff like that just make him that much better of a figure so um Let's take a look at the accessories and then we'll take a look at these two figures. So Duke comes with uh, four accessories. It comes with a, a really nice detailed backpack. It has like canteens on it, a lot of different zippers and buckles and stuff like that. Uh, it just looks really cool. Uh, we've got a small little shovel on there that's painted and stuff like that. So it kind of makes it stand out. Um, it just looks good. It looks really great on him because it kind of uh, matches with his, his bandolier and everything and stuff like that. And with the other green on him. So it just looks good on this figure uh, overall. Um, so, I, I mean, not all of them have come with uh, backpacks. It's something that most of the older G.I. Joe's used to have and I used to love. Kind of mixing and matching and finding different ones for different missions and stuff. So I do appreciate 
this one a lot. This is definitely uh, something for the field and where Duke belongs. Uh, he does come with this little uh, night vision goggles and everything. So that at first, first time I had seen it, I thought it was in the package. I thought it was a plastic explosive, but it's not. It's definitely uh, a type of night vision goggles or, or, or scope. Um, but it looks really cool. There's a lot of little details on it and stuff you can see. Including like, you know, like other uh, different it's right there and then there. And uh, the nice thing about it, it has this little uh, clip right here, little stud. And on the back of Duke, on his belt, there's a little spot where you just stick it on there, pop it, and, and there you go. And anytime you can holster an item, a weapon, a knife, a gun, or something like that on, on a character, and the classifieds do it a lot, is a plus point from you automatically. I love that. If you can hold, the more you can holster, the, the more I love it. So uh, that's a big, big up right there. Uh, and here is his sidearm. So we have this uh, pistol right here. Um, this is the exact same as the original uh, painted and stuff like that. It is black with that gold trim on the top of it and stuff. He can also holster this. And his sidearm holster. And that looks really good. Um, this is the exact same paint as the original. So no difference here. And then we have his assault rifle. Um, this looks really, really nice. It's got the, like the scope on it, but uh, it's got the different. Um, it doesn't have paint detail like the other one, but the other one had crazy gold and blue on it. So it had this like really crazy kind of sci-fi blue on it. It made it look almost like it was a laser uh, rifle, which if you watch the old cartoon, that's what they shot was everything was red and blue lasers. But this actually looks more like a rifle versus this looks like something out of uh, Mass Effect or, or one of the crazy Call of Duty ones. Um, so yeah, that's his accessories and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, the backpack also, sorry, I didn't show those two. The backpacks are exactly the same, so no difference there either. All right, so that's all of the accessories. Let's take a look at uh, the dupes and compare them. Okay, so here is our new repainted Duke uh, with the original released Duke. And this is, if you're unsure, uh, this is the new one on the side. And here is our old one. Uh, the old one had a lot of gold and blue, kind of like on his rifle. Kind of went up his legs and stuff like that. Uh, he also had these red accents on his uh, knuckles and his wristwatch. He also had red on his shoulder, uh, on his his shirt. That's what I say. Uh, what is it? And then on the back of his elbow, he had this. Uh, it's like an elbow pad, but it looks like it, it would be, do something. It's got like, like blue light and stuff in it. Um, and the new one has just the standard black without any kind of thing on it. Uh, no red or anything like that. Just a straight green on his shoulders. Um, his pants actually have a two tone on it, so you have this really nice dark green, this hunter green, and you got this more. Uh, lighter green like an olive green that kind of goes down his uh, knee pads and his shin guards and stuff like that look uh, way better with this dark hunter green and this like kind of gunmetal and stuff on there um, the watch his watch is black uh, which is, of course is way better and then he's got like a dark dark green uh, kind of matches with his like knuckles and stuff um, so it's it's it seems really small and it is um, it's just a really quick something that Somebody could have done their own if they really wanted to. But this does make him feel, in my opinion, a little bit more military. Oh, and I'm sorry. Uh, their little camera or communicators that some of them have on their shoulders, uh, this one has more detail in it. So where this one was all silver, he actually has some gold and some stuff on there. So that actually makes that also look better, uh, including the black on his... Uh, no, that's the same. Sorry. My bad. Uh, just the way his arm was positioned. But everything else is the same, exact same mold, exact same body. Uh, you know, everything is the same, same weapons. Stuff like that. It's just these paint changes that made it a variant. Same thing with uh, Scarlet, same thing with Roadblock. So, um, that's where it comes up to is this worth it for you? Um, I, I personally think it's worth it because this, when I'm gonna have like my dioramas or my shots and stuff like that of my military figures, stuff like that, I'm gonna like having Duke look more traditional military like this uh in the long run so what's your opinion is it worth it is it worth it yes or no um it's just 
too minor? Uh, I, don't know, I like to know. Um, so I've already looked at this figure before I, on a little a thing I did before, but we're going to look at his articulation. So now that we've compared him, we can send him off and we'll look at the new one. So uh, with all the classifieds, they do have a nice set of articulation, but uh, and a lot of them use reused Duke's legs in some parts of his body. So he is kind of the uh, original one to look at anyway. So um, he does have a little he head tilt. So um, he can actually look up really, really good. And then also really, really great range on that. So. Um, Full arm rotation does have that bicep cut, so we got the bicep swivel. He's got uh, double jointed elbows, so he can scratch that itch. You got wrist rotation and a little bit of flex. Uh, both of his hands are trigger fingers, so you can um, they can hold the weapons really well. And another plus, if you were on the fence. You didn't know if you wanted two dukes. You can go back Max Payne style and do wield if you want. So, and, uh, but anyway, yeah. Other arms, same thing. Uh, just no watch. Mine has a little tiny bit of a paint. It looks like his the original plastic underneath is green, but just a tiny little green uh, speck right there on his arm. Uh, for his ab crunch. can look down about that much look up about that much there is a waist rotation you can do a split that's why Scarlet loves him he's got to fix that belt when you do that you do have a thigh cut he's got some double jointed knees Kick, kick him in the back. We do have that calf rotation. And do we have a nice ankle pivot. Peg holes on the bottom. So you can really, really great get some great articulation. I mean, sorry, great poses with these guys and stuff like that. Um, and it's just, just a great looking figure all around. Um, kind of already went over the new paint and stuff like that but everything else is is awesome so i mean i love the color of his his basically his uh his shirt his dress uh the green everything really accents everything and stuff on it uh with the two-tone green and stuff like that this is just like a really good looking figure the only thing i wish this figure had was the hat or the helmet uh, my brother had the original duke and he was kind of a weird look like he had john this he was like this weird yellow color uh skin and all his arms but he had a helmet and uh, that was really cool. So I wish, I'm sure someone 3D printed, 3D printed one out there, I bet, if I looked for it. But uh, yeah, I just wish it came with it. Maybe in the future we'll get something. Um, Tiger Force Duke or something like that. So that's really all I have to say about the man himself. Uh, really, I really just want to do a quick review. Uh, and it's kind of a test. It's kind of a test for the new lighting. Um, so what do you think uh, of this new Duke and stuff like that? Yay, nay, pass. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. Uh, I'm a huge classified uh, fan. I've gotten everyone so far. So, uh, including the repaint. So I wasn't going to miss out on this one. Um, but if you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, check out our other content. Uh, what classified figure would you like me to see me review next? And, um, you know, if you do like it all, consider subscribing. Check out the Facebook and everything. Uh, they do, we do have a, uh, a TikTok. Uh, which will be going up. It's already set up. It's under Cage Toy Review. There's no content yet, but I'm going to be doing it when I kind of go on some hunts and stuff. So some videos of some finds and everything and everything like that. Um, but yeah, check out the Facebook and stuff like that. We do uh, a kind of a picture gallery whenever I do reviews and stuff of little stuff. And um, we're going to get some dioramas and everything. Uh, like I said, it's a small channel and, uh, you know, it's when, when, can't, when I can. So anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.